Okay, I hope that it's working. Um, let me just check. Let's see. I'm just refreshing on YouTube. So, um, let's see, hopefully it works. Oops, it is working, great. Um, let's see here. Can you hear me okay? Okay, good, good. Sometimes I'm like, are you able to even hear me? Great, we have about a minute left. Um, so good to see everybody and excited to paint with you today. Um, I'm just going to give a little bit of housekeeping here to make sure we have everything going on. That's what we're supposed to do. Okay, so a little bit of housekeeping. I won't be able to interact with you, those of you that are on YouTube, um, until after. Sorry about that. Um, my face won't show while I'm painting on this Zoom call. So it has to do with my um, equipment that I'm using. Once they upgraded it, they'll say, they said that I should show up in that little box. But if you watch the recording, it should show up there, hopefully. Um, let's see. And then, hang on one second. Let me just make sure that, okay. I am not, okay. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't seeing myself. There's too many cameras and too many things going on and I'm just like, what, where, what? Okay, let me talk to you about what we're doing today. But first, a special thanks to the amazing coffee club donors um, who have, it, it was just so much fun to do a master mashup live recording um, not that long ago. And those of you that are coffee club donors, it was such a joy to paint with you. Um, Christine, Barbara, Laura, Georgina, Lisa, Gail, Debbie, Miss Katz, Heather, Leslie, and Claude, Maurice, Diana, Robin, Asma, Cheryl, Alice, Janice, Loretta, Suzanne, Sarah, Margaret, and those that want to stay anonymous, thank you so much. And this is another quick shout out to my mom and dad who watches the video. <laughs> They're in the Philippines, and so they uh, tune in afterwards. They're so cute. They're always just like, we just watched your video. So I just wanted to, um, I wanted to shout them out. Hi, mom and dad, happy anniversary. Their anniversary is coming up in two days. So I just wanted to say that to them real quick. So thank you for that. All right, so let's talk about your materials today. Let me see here. I'm going to face down, but before we get going, it's only 6.01. Is everybody doing okay? Everybody's good? Great. Um, if you need the link to the PDF, it is already in the chat. Um, would love to know what the weather is like where you are, because here, it was like 60 yesterday and then 55 in New York in February. That's just insane to me. Like, it's supposed to be cold. I love it, of course, because I am a warm weathered person. <laughs> I love tropical weather. Um, so, raining and high winds to at Fran. Okay, Fran, be careful. Um, Joanne, finally chance to sit and enjoy. Oh, good, Joanne. Great. Loretta, happy anniversary. Yes, my parents are teaching inspiration. It's windy in Toronto. It's crazy, chilly, but it's been 60s and 70s, Sarah. Um, record heat for Joey. It's weird, right? This weather's just, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, except for let's enjoy it when we can or be safe when we can. All right, so I'm going to now, keep typing there, I'll, I'll read them as you're, we're going along. But um, I'm gonna show you our supplies. And, okay. So here we have our, can you see that okay? Our photo. I think it's it flipped my, uh, I always, hang on one second, I wanna flip it back to the right side just so I can mirror my video. There we go. All right. Okay, 
So here is our still life, all right? And then have your sketchbook out. To, right now I'm just gonna sketch with a pencil. We'll warm up with a pencil. So if you have a pencil, um, just get that out. There's something freeing about using a pencil when you have a lot of tools in front of you. So I'll be using a pencil. I have water here, oil pastels if needed. My watercolor is right here at the front, all right? Um, sunny in San Diego for Anne. Jessica, yesterday I'm from 73 to snowing. Oh man, stay safe out there. Laura, it's raining in UK. My goodness. I mean, I heard in California it's been super rainy too, right? I heard um, it's just one of those things. Oh, it's not raining in California. All right, Barbara says no. Okay, good. That's great too. <laughs> That's great news because I heard it was for a little bit. All right, so before we get started, I want you to... Those of you in YouTube, you won't be able to see this, but maybe those of you that are with us on um, Zoom, can you hold up what you are going to be warming up with? Like what you're painting? I'd love to see. Oh, Fran has a pot? That's so pretty. Wow. Okay. Um, let's see. Gail, are you showing us Gail? No, okay, that's okay, you don't have to. Um, let's see, Barbara has a cool vase. Laura has two shells. Um, it says bowls, is that right? And you're holding a bowl? Is that, am I, I'm sorry, that's what it says on the thing, but it looks like a cool black shape there. Sarah has a frog? Is that a frog, Sarah? Oh, cool. Robin has flowers. Um, let's see here. Mandy has fruit. Ooh, are those tangelos? <gasps> those are my favorite oranges because they're so yummy, easy to peel. Marie has a shoe. Oh my gosh, you're going Van Gogh on us, Marie. You have a shoe. Suzanne has a, a bowl. Sylvia brought something. What do you have, Sylvia? Ooh, is that a candle? Okay, nice, nice. Susie, hi, good to see you, Susie. Susie has an apple. I love it. Gail is in her studio arranging a flower bouquet. Love that. Heather has a candle. Is that a baton? Or a candle? Okay. <laughs> Christina has a cute swanish that it's in light blue. Awesome. I cannot wait. Christine has a bowl of flowers there. Um, hi, Debbie. Debbie has an armadillo. <laughs> Great. Awesome, awesome. I'm so happy to see that. It's so cool. All right, I'm gonna pin myself again and I am going to show you what I will be using. I bought this at a yard sale and um, I think it's somebody's, uh, yeah, Sylvia, somebody has an armadillo. <laughs> Debbie does. Um, this is like a, I, I love to look at um, pottery that are for sale, like kids pottery that um that people may not you know want anymore so i always steal those and so here's one that um i purchased i think it was a quarter and so that's what i'll use today all right so we'll warm up with a pencil and um first i am going to this is a stabila one so um i sharpened it really sharp and i'm just gonna make marks we're just warming up can you see that? Okay, great. And I'm just holding it in a weird shape. So it's nice to be able to touch and feel what you have, what you have too. All right. So if you can carry it, that's awesome. And this bowl kind of goes like this and we are just going to make it messy. We're not going to care about how perfect it looks because that's not our vibe. The vibe is fun, all right? So that is my first take on it. I'm gonna add some little parts that are dark. Next part, I'm gonna maybe look above, like look at it this way, and then maybe draw it like this, just right next to each other.
and add some more like a top-down view of the bowl. I think this is so it's interesting that this whoever this artist is um, there's two tones of three tones of brown in there very cool they signed it and I can't read what they wrote but anyway like I said those garage sales ones um, once it starts to get warm try to get out there and find some cool little trinkets to paint with all right, I'm gonna turn it a different way. So we're just taking some time. So we'll take like five minutes to do this. And we are just going to make a whole bunch of different marks. Just think of yourself as a bug or a fly. You are just not staying in one spot. You're flying everywhere. You're going on a flight, all right? so that your sketches are really loose because these are just for fun. The cool thing about these Stabilo pencils is they activate with water. So if you have something like that, like a watercolor pencil, you could just dip it in water and then see how that works. See how it adds like a little bit of mark. I meant to turn this a different way. Here, let me go like this. See how it has like a weird side? So this is just a fun little warm-up. If you don't know what to paint or you're kind of like feeling tight, maybe look around and find some weird cups or bowls that you might have and then just do a few of these. Just hold them in your hand. Um, I think Sarah has a frog. You can hold a frog in the in your hand. Debbie has an armadillo. Um, that's might be tricky. <laughs> might be tricky to do, but that's good. Those of you that have flowers, I encourage you to actually pick a flower and maybe touch the petals, because sometimes that has like really great magic on it. You know what I mean? Like touch the petals, hold it, and see. Um, how to draw from above, maybe turn it to its side. It just really teaches you a different way of looking. And I, I always encourage people to do that when they are sketching. Okay. Right, so I'm just filling my, my page here with a bunch of bowls. Just a bunch of bowls. And if you don't have anything and you just want to use what I have, feel free to just follow along, right? I'm just holding it like this. You could even, I mean, sometimes I even turn it over because it has a different look when it's turned over. Um, it's just a, a different way of seeing, which is fun. I have to tell you, um, last week, we didn't do Painting with Joy. My husband and I celebrated our anniversary early, and we dropped off our kids at my um, sister-in-law's house, and we went to the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., and um, it was free to go there, and... I got to be so close to Van Gogh's artwork and Sargent. I was like in tears. Like I, I, I've never felt that way before where it sounds crazy, but tears were like starting to come up through my throat. Is it throat? It's like um, in my eye, I was just like, are people looking at me right now? Weird because I'm about to start crying in front of this painting. Jessica, oh my gosh, it is such an amazing museum. We did not even get to see everything. We had to like rush out of there because um, we had to decompress after a couple of rooms and I was just like, I could be in there all day uh, and, and not even get to the parts that I really wanted to go, but I, I definitely went to the Matisse's and um, it was weird because 
You keep drawing and I'll just talk for a little bit. It was weird because I just, uh, I, I don't know if it was because I can't see very well and my glasses are, I'm just getting older. So my glasses, you know, I have to like zoom in, zoom in, you can't zoom in. So I'm like standing close and then I'm, I was afraid to, that the, um, that the, <laughs> you know, how like they say you the are, the you, yes, the alarms, you are too close to the painting. <laughs> I was getting that close because I, I just was like, I can't believe I'm standing in front of a Van Gogh that Van Gogh actually painted. Like it it was, it clicked in my brain and I was just, I was in a room for like a really long time and then it got really busy. And so anyway, it was a wonderful experience. So if you are ever visiting the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C., Highly, highly recommend. I mean, it was just, it was really amazing and great. All right, so here's my uh, bunch of bowls. Um, I was doing this exercise and somebody had said that they look like a family portrait where everybody's looking in a different direction. <laughs> you know, like when you're trying to take a picture of your whole family and it, everybody's looking all over the place. I kind of love that. I, I love that. Um, that thought so anyway so that's where my warm-up is it went a little longer than five minutes but I'd love to see how your warm-up turned out so let me see let me unpin myself and those of you that are able to join us on zoom we're limited to a hundred but we have a lot of room so um, those of you watching on YouTube maybe you can join us in zoom so you can see all this amazing work Fran Wow Oh, Sarah, that frog turned out great. It's like leaping off the page. That is, Christine, you did a lot in that little time that we did. I love that. The flowers are falling, like flowing off the page. Look at Gail. Gail, that's pretty. Armadillo, Debbie got the armadillo. All right, Anna, Anna, ooh. Is that like a stuffed animal or a statue? Oh, cute. Oh, it's so cute. That's great. Joey, I love that. Susie, the apple, the apple. Oh, you took the whole page of the apple. That turned out great. All right, Dominique. Dominique, I didn't get to see, or you, you had flowers, right? Is that true? Okay, yeah, okay, great. That turned out great. You used the pencil on that. Laura has a bunch of shells. Thinking of summer there, Joey, we saw. Cute. Joey, what do you have? Was it the tan? Your Mandy was the one with the tan jellos. Joey, what was yours? Oh, cute little figurines. <gasps> Marie's shoe. Marie, you were holding that shoe, weren't you? Look at that. She like turned it in so many different ways. Awesome. Oh, that turned out great. Fran with the blue. Amazing. All right. So thank you for sharing. Um, let me see here. I encourage you when you're doing this next time, like I said, when you don't know what to paint, grab something from your desk, just turn it every which way because that's kind of fun. And then maybe turn it upside down, lay it down on its side. Marie, I'm really inspired by the um, shoe that you had that you just, you know, flip flopped. I don't know how you hold that while you're drawing, but you did it. So awesome job. All right, so now we'll look through our um, We'll now focus and zoom into our lesson for today, which is a still life. This one is from Still Here, Still Life. I just love their prompts, and I just love how this is super colorful. Um, so I'm going to turn my page. Maybe if you want to, write the date of your sketches, so then you can go back and look and see, you know, hey, that's when I did that artwork. All right. Here we go. So first of all, we're gonna draw a few squares like we did in the last session. And let's see. Okay, I'll go this way. My page is still wet, so. One second, I'm gonna get a piece of paper. All right, I'm gonna cover that up. 
Does anybody have a sheddy dog? My dog is super sheddy. <laughs> There's hair, but I can't blame this one here is my hair. So his, his hair gets everywhere. Um, so I always find it in my artwork. I have a sheddy kitty. Oh, Robin has a sheddy kitty. Um, let's see here. Gail said I got two clothes at one museum, but the national never said anything. Oh, wow. I think it's certain ones. Um, there were certain ones that didn't have, um, that didn't have the alarms and then certain ones did. So I'm not sure how they, they figure. Well, I'm sure there's a reason why there's alarms, but there was a few saisons that you couldn't take a picture of. And I asked why, and they said it was because it belonged to the White House and the White House lent those paintings at the National Gallery, so they don't want you taking pictures of them. I'm like, oh. And then the lady said that she wished she would, they would come and pick it up because she's tired of telling people why they can't take pictures of it. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Anyway, all right, so back to work here. Grab yourself a square. I have my little Lego square. Mine's, I guess, more of a rectangle. And I am just gonna draw a little composition a, a teeny tiny composition maybe we'll do i'd like to do three i i i'm an odd person that way <laughs> that's a math joke right <laughs> i <laughs> you'll you'll get that later i did that super fast but yes i love doing things in odd numbers threes fives it just feels good to me for some reason. All right, so I am not gonna draw the whole thing because that's not what I always like to do. I always like to just zoom in and pick parts that I like. So I, I'm always drawn to flowers. So maybe this is a fun composition for me. I'm going to, Let's see here. I have the, I hope my chair is not too loud. I have the loudest chair. I tried oiling it. Do you hear that? Sorry about that. Um, anyway, I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to take another color. Let's see, can you see that? Okay. I want to, okay, here we go. And I'm just going to do the same thing we did. Just move really fast through this so that we can get some sketches down that's the flower here's an orange now you don't have to follow exactly what they have here as you can see I'm already diverting I try to follow um, but it never, I never end up doing it exact. Ooh, I like this. Do you see this dark shadow? I like that. So I will add that to my work. Okay, so that's my first sketch. Very, very quick. Um, didn't even really think about it too much. Just got something down on paper. It's interesting, these shadows that's being cast in the background. I think that's why I like this picture. Okay, now this time I'm going to go this way. Nope, do I want to do that? Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm going to draw this flower here. Can somebody type in the chat to tell me what kind of flower this is? Or this type of uh, plant? Does anybody know? This one I'm not sure about. I know the other ones are, Taurus says, Anthurium, Anthurium. I hope I said that right. Okay, thank you. All right, very cool. That is the one thing that I'm really excited about when um, summer starts or, or spring, all of the flowers start blooming though right now my plants outside they think it's already spring so they've already started to bloom or not bloom but start to do their buds you know like when they start to come out 
Um, don't forget those shadows. I'm going to add my shadows back here. Sometimes I just want to do a painting just of shadows. Just because it's fun. All right. Okay, so that's my sketch number two. And now a different sketch or a different type of composition. So feel free to either do the whole thing or move around. It's up to you, right? This time. And if there's something that you like in the photo that's not on here, or not on the specific one that I'm working on, just move around. It's your painting, so you do whatever you want. I love the color combinations here too. I didn't put the oranges, but you can if you want to. Right, so just drawing the anthurium, anthurium, right here. This cool little vase. We have a carnation. Then we have the fruit, but I'm not going to add that. And we have a bottle. Maybe I'll add the side of a bottle. All right, so those are my three different sketches that I am looking at. Now take a second and add some color to the one that, let's just take a second and add some color. So I'm gonna take my watercolor and I'm gonna kind of follow what they have going on here. This is red. If you use a watercolor pencil, I didn't use one here, but if you use one, that that kind of fades away in the background. So you can easily, you know, if you don't like to show the lines, you can easily do that. Also, here's another thing I like to do is I just kind of move around with the same color. Like if I'm going to take a blue for these hydrangeas, I'm just going to... See if there's blue elsewhere in my sketch and add that. So feel free to move around. It's almost like um, when you're on a plane, you can move, ar move around the cabin. You feel free, just, you know, travel everywhere, right? And we have another flower here which is mostly green, so I'm adding that. Another, another green one here. All right, let's see. Um, where else? It's just fun sometimes. We, with the little boxes, I just find myself um, I get something, I feel like I'm doing something and I'm getting something done if they're just little boxes. Of course, feel free to definitely finish up your paintings later on if you wish. I love this um, purple background. So how I typically do a purple is I just grab purple from my palette and then I dab it with the gray and kind of mix the two together. And then I use that. And if you have water that spreads, just grab a tissue or a paper towel and go around. All right, keep going a little bit or add we have about two minutes. I'll give you two minutes and then we'll make a bigger painting out of this. But yeah, absolutely, if you get a chance to go visit Washington, D.C., I highly recommend it. I think we're going to go back um, hopefully next year. 
it was that amazing. I, I'd love to just, I, we skipped so many rooms. Joy? Um, yes. I think all the museums in Washington are free. Yes, I think you're right. Absolutely. The Smithsonian's right. Great. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it is amazing. Um, the one that, for some reason, I guess, I do know why, because we have kids, and so when we went before, we went to the natural, you know, the, more the sciences, so the art one was really for me, um, <laughs> to feed my soul, sometimes you just have to go see some art to feed that creative need. It was really powerful to be in the same room as these paintings. It's very hard to explain. Um, okay, so I'm just moving along. I don't even know where some of these plants are. Like, like I said, I guess I made it up. So <laughs> I don't see these specifically every, anywhere. So I'm just going to add it right here. Turn it yellow. All right. We have about one minute. I'll give you one minute to finish your sketch. Think of this as your little map. Um, so you can kind of guide yourself as we do a bigger piece. And while you're doing that, I'm going to... Um, Check in on you while I drink my coffee. I'm drinking coffee at 6.30. It's just been like one of those days where I started to feel really sleepy. So I'm like, I better drink some coffee. It's a half calf, so it's not a full on. Yeah. But, <laughs> but let's see how you're doing. All right, so I'm going to remove my pin. And if you want to, if your artwork's not wet and you want to hold it up, that would be awesome. Okay, Carla, great. Ooh, I can already see how these are gonna be great, like built up. Oh, Sarah, inspiring. Oh, I love the colors popping from there. Laura, ooh, I like that. Barbara, Barbara, you always simplify things into like these beautiful pieces. I think you did some last time too that was just like the bird or something, right? Did you do that last time, Barbara? Yeah, it was just so pretty. Sylvia, can you hold yours up just a little bit? Okay, wow. Ooh, you filled the box. Ooh, and you got the fruit. All right, Fran. Thank you, Sylvia. Susie, great. Are those watercolors too? Yep, okay. Mary Key, Marie Key. I always say your name wrong. Okay. 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 Thank you, Mariki. Please correct me though if it gets annoying. Tora, I love that. Oh, the red just pops on that Mariki, by the way. Tora, I love the teal plate. Is that a plate? Well, whatever vase that they have, it looks great. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna get going. And if I didn't catch you, okay, Marcy, there you go. Um, friend, I saw yours for a second and then it left me. Where did it go? Okay, there we go. Oh, and you got the you got the candlestick too? Wow. That's great. See, I love how people like when you do this, all of you like see different things that I don't see. That's great, Debbie and Stefan. Hi Stefan. <laughs> um that I I don't see and then that you see, then I'm just like, ooh, add that to the next time. Sorry about my dog. He's barking. All right. And that was his armadillo, by the way, before. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stefan's armadillo. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get another piece of paper. Oh, I already have one. Um, and I, this is a mixed media paper. Um, one second, my dog. I'm just going to get somebody to take care of him. Hey, Jude, can you take care of the dog? All right. Sorry about that. Okay, I have a mixed media paper and I have my photo here, or not my photo, but like my reference photo. 
It's up to you if you want to do the whole thing or you want to just do a part. I think I'm just going to do this little square here. This one has the most um, speaking to me the most. So I'm going to be focusing on that one. Um, let's see here. And I'm going to sketch first. Do I want to sketch first? See, that's the thing. Sometimes I want to sketch first and then sometimes I just want to get in there. So... I'm trying to figure out how to lay everything down. One second. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm going to sketch a little bit, but then really paint and draw. So what I'm trying to really have you do is not totally rely on your, um, your reference photo. We're really trying to practice your artist hand so that your handwriting comes through because that's super powerful not everybody's and I hope you see this when we show everybody's work that everybody's handwriting is so different and that's what's so inspiring about coming together like this all right so I am going to kind of put away my um, reference photo but really focus on what I just did right here and I'm going to sketch I want to use a, this is a watercolor pencil, golden brown, hopefully it'll show up. If it doesn't, I'll switch to a different pencil. Um, there was a cup here, does that show? I'm just gonna use a regular pencil because I really don't mind the lines. Okay, and there's a cup right there. And then there is a really cool shape of, you're kind of drawing from memory here, or at least I am. There's a cool shape of a vase. So I'm going to, now I can't remember how it looks, so I'm going to look back. Oh yeah, there it is, the vase. And then I'm just going to actually put it right in front of me a little bit. So it's, it's around. Um, then we have that flower up here. Uh, put that there. You have another flower up here. And as you can see, I'm just moving really fast. I'm not even worried about how um, perfect it looks because uh, whenever I do art, it's never going to be perfect. It's just going to be the energy, the feeling, because I'm not trying to recreate a photo. Some people are amazing. I, I see some works that I'm just like, wow. The patience it takes to do representational art in that way is just really great. But it's just not my... It's not my... Um, my personality. Um, what was this? A oh, little candle holder right here. Which I turned into a cup. Oh, maybe I'll turn it into my little bowl. So maybe you don't have to follow, like I said, your sketch exactly. I'm turning this thing into my little bowl. Um, I think Marie's the one with the shoe. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to incorporate a shoe in this, but that might be fun to do. Um, all right. I'm so, are, are you? Okay. I'm excited to see that, Marie. Um, I'm going to add the bottle right here. But am I going to really add the whole thing? I don't know. Let me just part. Okay. So, that is my super rough sketch. And now I'm going to go through and add some paints. I'm going to start with watercolor first because that is my first love. I just love using watercolor as a base and then coming back up and then adding the, the rest of the colors. So there's my brown um, vase. And I'm just, just putting it on there even though it wasn't in my photo. Just adding it there for fun. 
And the mixed media paper is great because it holds a lot of uh, water and dry media. So this is a Canson one and it comes in like a pack of a hundred. So it's great for practicing. Oops. Sometimes you might, like I made my vase really wide um, and that's okay. Whatever you do is fine. So I'm just trying to make my vase a little bit more, adding a little bit more to it. All right, so keep going. All right, there we go. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, it's like a purpley, a light blue for this guy or this particular cup. Just being really loose, not caring too much about... The reference photo is just really for reference, that's all. You don't have to have it be perfect. That's the cool thing about it. Okay, I'm really wanting to do the background, so uh, I'm gonna add that. And this is a... I'll show you right now. It's from our reference photo because of the different blues and hues that that little um, that pocket or that shape is really dark. So I'm going to try to darken that a little bit. Might have to add some brown. Right. So just kind of play with your colors and see what works it it looks like it has a little bit of blue too so i'm getting distracted right now by that by that shape the shadow that's in the inside of this vase that i made gigantic okay so while that's all going i'm gonna do my red for this plant very loose. Try holding your uh, brush a little bit further. Sometimes that helps with the looseness, with the control. Right. I love how that's popping already. The other one's green right here. So, and it's it's almost like um, it has a lot of spikes, so I'm just mimicking that by dabbing the top of the brush. It's almost like just dots. That's what I'm doing right there. And then this little stalk on the side, it almost reminds me of celery, and I don't know why. I'm just moving my brush up and down. Very loose. We are not gonna try to make it perfect. Cause what's the fun in that, right? Okay, now the carnation in the pinks. So I tend to just blob everything down. Everything's a big blobby mess. And then later on when things are a little bit dry, I'll go through and add the details. So this is glass. A trick that I like to do with glass is I just turn it gray and then do a lot of dabbing. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to turn it gray and it has some reddish water in it. Or I guess it's not water. Campari. Is that wine? I don't know what that is. Does anybody know what Campari is? Is that just like a, a drink that you mix? I don't know what that Maybe is. Maybe a, a parakeet or a mix. Oh, okay. Thank you, Gail. Um, so it's a mix. But you could turn that to whatever you want. It could be wine. You can turn it into a wine bottle. Okay, so blobbing everything. As you can see, everything is just a giant blob. And I didn't put the fruit. And that's okay. 
I am going to try to incorporate some of the shadow in a little bit here, but I'm going to do the background while things are drying. So a pale background, I'm just taking some of my gray, which is like a, I can't remember the name, but if you have a Winsor Newton, it's W152. And I'm mixing it with a W115. So this is a mixture of W152 with 115. So that if ever you want to know what your mix is, you can just go back in your sketchbook and find out. All right, so this is a Winsor Newton. I tend to use this kind of um, color a lot, this purpley mix. So I'm just gonna put that all over my page. I hope you're doing okay. All right. It's a Wednesday. I can't believe that it's almost, we got an extra day this year, which is a, just so cool. Um, but it's reminding me that March is just around the corner, super fast. This year is already 2024. I, I don't know if it's because my kids are one of my children's in high school now. I feel like it's just fast forwarding even faster. People tell me when they were little, people told me all the time, cherish these moments. They, they go by fast. And I'm like, okay, you know, when you're changing a diaper, sure right and then <laughs> and then all of a sudden boom I'm like i only have three summers left time's flying it by. just got done saying that to a mom of two little ones that like blink they're yep. in college it's yes you're right your daughter's in college right i i just feel yeah. like i just feel like it's it's going a little too fast for my liking. It does. It feels like time is speeding up, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes. I know. And I just want to... not just you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to <laughs> take my children and shrink them down so I can keep them in my pocket and take them with me wherever I go. <laughs> they won't like that, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is my... Background now, while that's drying, I get antsy and I want to add more stuff. So now I'm going to take my oil pastels and I'm just going to start throwing different marks everywhere. So this one is the Pentel. Some people don't like these. I tend to use them as a first layer because um, I like that they're hard and then I work my way up to something softer. So I'm going to take some oil pastels and you can't even see that. So if you can't see it, I will switch to a different one. Okay, so this is the carnation. I'm just adding a little bit of orange. All right, and then another type of gray just adding shadow gray and the oil pastels I just throw it in there you know don't worry too much if you don't like it um, use a marker I love using oil pastels because they're fast and I am a impatient um, maker I like to just work fast right Okay, Stefan says, have you ever tried the Manly crayons? They're pretty cool. No, I haven't. Um, <laughs> they're called Ma they're called Manly and Manly and oh. they and, and they are they have really they're nice and soft. They have really good pigment. I like them a lot. Okay. They're wax. They're not water soluble. They're wax. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to check out those manly crayons. Um, <laughs> I will have to find those. Thank you for sharing that, Stefan and Debbie. So I'm just adding the yellow now, right? 
just making my way around this piece and let me see what else do I want to add maybe some of this the detail here so typically in the morning I try to get some exercise painting done in the morning while the kids are asleep um, before I have to wake them up to go on the bus and this is what I do is I just blob a whole bunch of things around and then later on as the day goes whether I'm picking them up at a at school or something I'll bring my tools and then I'll start adding details so now I'm on the part I'll show you where I start adding the details just to make it seem more like a flower color pencils are great for that um, even markers are great these prismacolor markers are awesome I love them for super they just show up on everything they even like show up on top of oil pastels which are great I'm just adding shadow here and let's see here if you have time definitely add those um, delicious shadows in the background I'm gonna add I forgot the stem but I'll add that there we go And then I'll go back. So there's just a lot of going back and forth when it comes to this kind of artwork or art making. Um, I have a lot of work that are half done because I start something else and I forget that they're in my sketchbook. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has done that, but I do that often. Um, and let's see here, the bottom is like a blue so I'll show you a picture it's like a blue so I'll probably add that in a second here starting off with watercolor and just testing the color on my sketchbook none of those blues work so yeah use your sketchbook as a as a testing area. Oh, there it is. Just gonna add that at the bottom. And then I typically just go back and re-layer things. So don't feel like you have to finish everything now. You could let it dry. Um, I'm gonna add some details to the flower using oil pastel the only thing about them is they get really messy and I never well I don't want to say never because sometimes I do blend them um, with my fingers and it's fun to try different colors right next to each other so that one was a red trying a different red now seeing if I have an even darker red just to add some oomph to the painting everybody doing okay I hope so right so now I'm going back see I'm just jumping lots of jumping back and forth because as I'm waiting for things to dry I might want to try to go somewhere else I'm going to use some of these gallery oil pastels because they're bigger. And the great thing about them is they take a bigger, they can color a bigger portion. So I'm just going to add some more on the shadow part here. All right, and then let's see, bottle. Since I turned mine into wine, just adding some red, smooshing some red in there. Yeah, if you have tried some new tools, 
um, please put them in the chat because I'm always looking for new things to uh, new things to add to my growing <laughs> to the growing list of art supplies. Ooh, I like that gray. You can even turn these on the side and then just use it to make marks. I sometimes like to do that. So just very fast creating, um, adding some dots here. Let's see. And like I said, later on I'll come through maybe and add more details to the flowers just to let them pop more. This one is a red marker. Can't see it. I hope that these types of uh, creative times just kind of lets you try new tools, play, and then if you really want to take things, you know, and try things in another time or like redo this in a different way in the more serious way if you will um, you can definitely do that what else do I want to do I want to add a little bit more shadow on some parts oops that's too dark so if it's something's too dark just um, take your tissue and dab it and this one actually had water or an oil pastel on top of it so it's doing a resist, but then it's also leaving a little bit of watercolor, which is kind of cool. All right, adding some more blue. Just making these guys stand out more. Um, Anna said, Geoconda Soft Pastel Pencils. Pastel without messy fingers. Ooh, you know what's interesting, Anne? I was looking for, um, I'm gonna write that down too. Okay, so we have two things that were suggested. Manly crayons. And Geo. This is the set. Oh, wow. Soft pastel pencils. And you just, it's like a pencil, but it, you can blend and stuff, and you don't get your hands so messy. Oh, you know what's, so you know. It's like a pencil. Yep. Yeah, can you see? Like yeah. A pencil. yeah. Those are great. Yeah, I cut it with a, instead of a pencil sharpener, you put a little knife so you can. Ah. But, yeah, but you cannot work really hard because it breaks. Okay. You, you get used to it. Okay. You don't get the messy tape fingers, which I hate. It. I know. I, I My fingers are a mess right now. But you know what's interesting? Yeah. Um, and I actually have that same exact set. Oh. In, well, well, I didn't buy it. It's in my Amazon cart. <laughs> I just like to put things in my cart. And then I just leave oh. it there. Um, sometimes I buy them. But... It just feels good sometimes to online shop, and so I fill up my cart, and then I close the browser. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just, I'm trying to be good when it comes to spending, so I just fill up a cart. I'm like, oh, what can I go shopping for today? So I fill up a cart, and then I close the browser. Then I forget that it's there. All right, so that is, thank you for that. And I'm going to definitely look at that because that was weirdly, or Anna, I, weirdly I had that um, thought that maybe I should try some pencils, pastel pencils. So you like them. You like them for details? Uh, yeah, you can shop them because you yeah. have pencils so you can do details. Wow. Mainly, when you do sideways, you can use it like a pastel block, but then yep. you don't get your fingers all itchy. So, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So if you do sideways, yeah. you know, you can still kind of blend. Ooh. But, yeah. 
Thank you. I like it. Okay, great. All right, so Heather's, it, Yvette says that is fun. Sometimes I do that too. Yeah, it is a lot of fun because it feels like, you know, it doesn't feel productive per se to go online shopping, but it feels good to be like, yeah, I want that. Yeah, I'll, I, I'll put that in my cart. You can put whatever you want in your cart. You just don't have to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I bought some Tombow markers, Heather says. Don't know if I like them yet. You know what's interesting, Heather, is I actually, on the one painting with Joy, I bought a set of some, I bought a, uh, one of our sessions, I bought something, it's um, this giant, where is it? This giant create a color, create a color chalk oil. Oh, you can't see it. Okay, wait. It is gigantic, a big pencil. And as I was playing with it, we were talking and I was like, I hate this. I don't know if I like it. And then as I kept going, I was like, wait a minute, I like this. So you never really know until you keep playing with it a little bit more and just, you know, see how it goes. But yeah, so we are at seven o'clock. Time flies when you're having fun. Oh my gosh. Can you hold up what you, um, what you did, hang on, and I would love to take a picture. Um, one second, I'm just going to say goodbye to those that joined us in YouTube. Goodbye. Mom and Dad, if you're still watching, love you. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to.